folk style. There is that, but Sasso, far better wrestler as far as I'm concerned in folk style. See if that kind of plays into this. And the issue here has been Sasso's strengths are Yanni's strengths and overcoming this, but we are now underway. Sammy Sasso immediately in on a quick single leg is Yanni Dalkamahal, a standing single now, trying to work for that finish against Sammy Sasso, number two in the nation. And he walks him out of bounds. That, that is one in freestyle. It is. But that is 0, 0.0 points in uh I don't know why he did Also that. correct, sir. <laughs> well, Yanni's a wrestling genius. I'm sure he had his reasons, but I didn't get him walking him out of bounds because standing single, that's how you want to try to finish on yeah. Sammy, I think. Yeah. Then again, Sammy's really good at bouncing on that foot and finding the, a way to dive under. And it's once again on a high crotch, Yanni Dakamahas. Finds his way to that same leg, and danger should be started. Close. It's close. It, it's close, yeah, for sure. And now trying to take him through, yeah, but there's the true. takedown for Yanni. Fast start for Yanni Dakamahal's bottom leg. Turk, maybe, maybe not. He's got the foot. And Sasso trying to build up and does. I, I love that danger rule so much. Me it too. causes action there in a position that, I'm not saying that Sammy stales that out every time. But I am saying that it, it adds that element of danger, mm -hmm. so much so that, that Yanni's able to create enough motion and, and, and enough room to get that arm through and finish. Yeah, no question. So now Yanni going to cover here, 2-0 lead. We'll see if he can get a ride going against Sasso. Quick stand up for Sasso. Now right back down. Deep waist on that left side. Now attacking the ankle is Yanni Dakamahal, a two-time NCAA champion. He's been off the folk style scene for a couple of years, taking Olympic red shirts, but now he's back in full effect. And he has two years of eligibility, trying to be a four-time NCAA champion, but this would be his quest for third. He's had some success, well, everywhere, but at <laughs> CKLV. This was kind of his breakout folk style tournament for collegiate wrestling when he took out Bryce Meredith in a crazy semifinal. And that would be wind up being the NCAA finals that year, mm -hmm. and now a tough breakdown here from. Yanni Look at him Diakamahas. ride that that Blair ride, and I don't know if you remember this, but mm -hmm. the guy who is probably best I've ever seen at it is sitting in Yanni's corner right now, Kellen Russell. Kellen Russell, and he was outstanding. Between him and Coop, I don't think there was anyone that did that. Who Blair definitely ride probably worked with Yanni uh, yeah. for some oh, time for as well. Sure. For sure. So you got some Blair Ride Masters, and man, it's it's proven to be a real obstacle from Sammy Sasso, who's pretty reliable from the bottom position. No question, but he's got a you know a buck seventeen already, and he you know pretty effortlessly, right? I mean, you know, he hasn't had to have four mat returns. He hadn't had to timed it perfectly yeah. on that chop there on the restart. Got that wrist on the right side now, trying to seal off as Sammy Sasso get every time he gets to his feet. Good return, Yanya just drops down. And now he's got that figure four. This is a, a masterpiece of a ride from Yanni. I, I did not anticipate this. No. And again, I think I think They're gonna we mentioned it. And Sammy gets warned for stalling. I think we mentioned it with uh, with Glory. Look at how he's taking posts away. Just mm -hmm. systematically pushing one, taking the other one away. Just staying at absolute, tight waist. Yeah. And he's, so he's deep active there. with it, mm -hmm. right? It's not like he's just hanging on it with body weight. He's using that left leg, driving into him. Short time now. And this is, that looks absolutely befuddling if you're a guy like Sasso who yep. can get out. He ain't going under. I, I, I wouldn't suspect. 2.15 in riding time, you had a couple of restarts. You had a couple of attempts yeah. to get away. Nothing doing. Sasso going to defer. Yanni going to go under. Sasso going to get his chance to ride as he lines up on the left side. We got a caution against Sammy. Okay. He wasn't on the elbow. How do you miss Yanni's elbow? Look at those things. <laughs> Something's got to be a miss. Look at it. Fair enough. Quick tripod there for Yanni. I'm trying to Put him back down. Leg comes in for Sammy Sasso. Now double legs for Sammy Sasso, trying to get those other posts taken out. But Yanni, can, he has a weird way he's able to get that weight back. 
But Sasso improving. He's staying behind those arms really well and slowly, I think, working him down. But no, just as I say that, Yanni comes up. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. tilt situation potentially Push. here. A little crab ride action now from Sammy Sasso. Got the claw, and you see Yanni trying to sort out the feet. He's going to scoot to his left here in just a second. Yep, there he is. There's the scoot. He's out. And there's the reversal. Not what you're looking for if you're, if you're Sasso. It's the ever helpful line from the coach, one, not two. Yes. Oh, I shouldn't get reversed. 4-0 now, and a leg comes back in. Riding time at 145 and going back up for Yanni. A couple weeks back, Yanni tweeted, folk style is hard. Folk style wrestling is really hard when you do this. When you work tirelessly on bottom, when you work tirelessly on top, yes, it can be an absolute grueling seven minutes. And that's why he's saying something like that. Yeah, if you just kind of kick him and, and don't force action on top. But that's not how you win an NCAA title. Right. So 39 seconds on the restart here in the second period. And that chop is nasty. Yeah, it is. Puts him right on that elbow. It's almost like he's rolling into it, mm -hmm. that he's getting such a good jump. And goes back to that Blair ride. Watch him throw a half with his right hand. And then switch sides. Hammer lock out. Man. Working both sides is Yanni now dropping down to the leg. And smart time to drop down as the period runs out. Can't, can't do anything wrong. Can't do nothing wrong. Can't there. do anything wrong. Big match wrestling. Sasso going to go neutral here. Blame him? No. No. Look, man, big match wrestlers wrestle in big matches, and, and Yanni is, is getting it done so far. Now, he's not out of the woods yet. We, it's only a four-point lead, but he, well, five effectively, mm -hmm. right, because he's locked yeah. that up. Another shot attempt there from Yanni. Level change, and you're right back in, same side. Behind that knee is Yanni Dakamahalas. Sasso's good with the shin with Yeah, and Yanni. You can see him looking there, just wanting to stale that out. Yep. I don't blame him. Why go to that guy's best position? 90 seconds to go. Sasso not been able to get to Yanni's legs. And this has been a real point of emphasis for Yanni. Is like, okay, I can't let everyone get in on me all the time, even though I'm really good there. It's a lesson he learned and has been improving on and helped him, you know, make the make his first ever world team. That's where fall. I saw it. That's where I saw the big change. There's a shot, same side again. Is he going to work to finish here? Maybe waiting to see how Sammy plays this. He sits the court. This is actually Sammy's best position, in my opinion. He likes to sit this cradle, bring his hips to the left, but he gets stalemated. Yanni's like, I know that move. I'm no fool. Mm -hmm. I've seen you cradle, and I've seen your coach, Jay Jaggers, do that. Oh, my goodness, yeah. There's a shot. Gets in deep. Now trying now to pop out it. the back door. What can he do with it? Elbows. Elbows Nani. behind the head there as an offensive wrestler is never good. And now does he have the double? He does. This Wizard. is similar to Yanni's p best position, and he gets the finish 4-2 now. What do you do if you're Sasso? You do you try again. to get a turn? I think he's going to try to turn. But now power half, but he's going to swim out of it, at least attempt to. And there's another reversal for Yanni. Going to make it 6-2. Riding time lock, 7-2 lead for Yanni. So Sammy gets the takedown, but a reversal negates it. And... You got to assume Yanni be able to ride out for the win here. He's been so good on top. Now up to his feet. Locked around the crotch and now going to give up a stall call here with like one second left. Well, time's out. So uh, I don't Whoa. understand the last point, but it doesn't matter. Right Sammy Sasso goes down to Yanni Giacomo. fantastic performance. Great final match and a great set of finals here, Mike. That, how fun was this? That was probably, man, it's so nice to 